Hey, today we're going to be looking at WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a binary instruction format for a stack-based virtual machine. So what does that mean? Basically, you can take any programming language, compile it down on the WebAssembly, and then run your application anywhere on the web browser or on servers. So you can take Rust code, C++ code, and run these compiled binaries on your web browser. Potential for this is huge, and I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to give you a demo right here. What we're looking at is Doomtree using WebAssembly. You can see here Doomtree WebAssembly, an experimental port of ID Tech 4 software. Now this is exactly what you're capable of using this. So I can play single player. Now it's a little bit janky and this is like really pushing the limits of this thing. But this is the direction we're going with WebAssembly and you can see the frames per second that we're getting. Right now it's just loading so I'll give it a second. But this is what we can do with games right. This game is okay it's 10 years old about but if we're able to get software running to this degree on the web web browser this is just crazy like you won't even have to download things anymore. You just run them as are. Right, okay, so we're in the game. Welcome to Mars. All uh, new arrivals need to check in at reception. Okay. So the frame rate is a bit jumpy, but I wonder um, can we fix that? I don't know how to get the menu. Okay, so we have this in ultra. Let's just put it in low quality. See if we can get that frame rate up. Yeah, we might be able to actually. Yeah, but basically this is this is crazy. Like like I'm I'm playing Doom in my browser. <laughs> like I know you can play games from the nineties in the browser, but this is just this is another level. This is crazy. And I'm sure with like a bit of tweaking of the graphics, you could really get this running smooth. It is thirty frames per second sometimes. It's not bad. This is just I just wanted to show you what you can do. Whoa. Okay. So how do we write code in WebAssembly? Well, it's actually very straightforward and I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to leave a link below to Mozilla where they do a lot of the similar things I'm doing here. But this is just a quick demonstration to show you how easy it is to actually get started with this. It's going to be in the Rust programming language. So to get started, we do cargo install wasm pack. I've already done this, but basically this will install something called Wasm Pack. And let me show you here. It makes it very easy for us to compile our Rust code and get it to work with our JavaScript. Yeah, so one-stop shop for building and working with Rust-generated WebAssembly that you'd like to interrupt with JavaScript. There you go. Now once that is done, we create a new a new uh, project, just like you would with most other um, Rust projects. And we're going to call it Hello World. Awesome. Great, now that's created. So now we open our project in IntelliJ or whatever IDE you like, and we'll find in source, we'll find lib.rs, and this will just have this default test here, and we can just get rid of that. We're gonna use a crate called wasam bindgen. What it's basically allowing us to do is, it does all the heavy lifting for us, um, and allows us to communicate between the JavaScript code and the Rust code. And basically over your functions or whatever code you write, you just put in, this wasm bind gen like so. And now we type extern for external. So it's an externally defined function. And it's basically the code that's coming from JavaScript to Rust. And it will be JavaScript's alert function. So now we define our Rust function, internal function. And it's going to be um, greetings. And we're going to give a name and a string. If you're a bit confused by the Rust code, you can check out my other videos. You can also do this in C++ or other code programming languages. So we format our greeting. And this is happening through our Rust code, and we're going to do hello. And then we pass whatever name was passed to us from JavaScript. So now we're basically just adding this hello to the name. So we can say hello, whatever the name is passed. And that's uh, Rust is handling that part, the formatting part. Now, of course, this is a very simple example, but if you were to scale this up, it would make a very big difference. Now, before we compile this, we just add our dependencies. First we add this special uh, library called citylib. 
basically citylib is for when you're compiling a dynamic library loading from another language. So yeah, you need it when you're doing this kind of communication with JavaScript. Now we add our dependency, our wasm bind gen that we imported earlier. So now we simply compile it with wasm pack build. So you're not doing cargo build, you're doing wasm pack build. And that will compile the uh, compile it to WebAssembly for us. And there you go, that's compiled. Now we want to make it available to JavaScript. So we're just going to go into the package folder and we're going to type npm link. And as you know, npm is the package manager for JavaScript. There we go. I just had to sudo that the second time because I didn't have the permissions. Okay, and now we go back to our main folder and we are going to make a directory called site. We go into that directory, and now we npm link our hello world wasm. There we go, and now we have linked that. Next, we're going to add a JSON file, and with that, we're going to add our dependency of hello world wasm. We make that in the site folder. We're going to be using Webpack. We're going to be using Webpack as our dev server, but you can use other ones, but this is what we're just going to go with. It's the most straightforward option. And now we're going to add our Hello World Wasam dependency. Uh, I think the version should be 0.1. Now we add our dev dependencies. Next, we need to add our configuration of Webpack. And finally, we add our HTML. Our index.html file. Our title will be Hello World Wasam. And we just add in our script. So that will pick up our JavaScript in our index. Oops. Now we just need the create the index.js, which is going to be pretty straightforward. So now we import our hello world wasam. Right, if you're following that, there was a slight spelling mistake. There should be node module node modules, not import modules. And finally, we're going to have our function that we're trying to call in WebAssembly. So we have JS and then JS.greet. And now we pass that string that we wanted. So coding WebAssembly with Shane.
So then you just do npm install. And then once you've done that, you do npm run serve. And now it should be running on localhost 8080. Yes, greet is not a function. Okay, what have we done wrong here? Okay, yeah, it's greetings. Uh, so I had a slight spelling mistake there. So we go back into our greet, and this should be greetings. We just recompile, it does that for us. There you go, hello coding WebAssembly with Shane. And it's that simple. So that was just my quick introduction to WebAssembly. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know. I think the potential for this is amazing and even just being able to play games in the browser is kind of crazy. But there's lots of other software applications and things being done with WebAssembly, so I really recommend you check it out. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel, I'll be doing more stuff related to this and Rust and anything tech really. Alright, peace.